Robbie, Mo, I just got ambushed by a bunch of arachnomechs. Androids arachnomechs? Didn't we comprehensively kick his shiny metal plated backside, B? Thought so. But maybe there's more to Mandroid than uh, meets the optics. Look, keep the Terrans from rolling out till I get there. Mind telling us how? Do what I do. Improvise. I think a spider bot sweep is in order. Thrash? Seconded. Not a moment to waste. Count us in, Twitch. Wait! I got a better idea. Have you? No. Give me a moment. Hmm. Two words. Roll. Play. Mildly interested. Go on. For starters, let's review what we know about the Emberstone. Right. In case we miss something critical. When Robbie and I found the stone in that creepy cave, we had no idea what it was or what was about to happen. We are the most fearless adventurers that ever existed. And, of course, we had to touch it. And then, boom! Its power made you guys appear out of nowhere. You were born on Earth, forged from Earth's own elements, and empowered by the Ember Stone. That's how we became a family. And bonded to us via these cool cyber sleeves. I always love this story. We know all this. What else? And what about Mandroid? He got kind of obsessed with us. Well, who wouldn't be? Well, he's a former ghost scientist who was badly injured in the war the Autobots fought against the Decepticons here on Earth. So now he carries a king-size grudge against all things Cybertronian. Ooh, ooh, and he's been using mind control patches to make Transformer spots do his bidding. Wait, wait, this is all past tense. We beat Mandroid. He's solid gone. If Arachnomex are still in play, maybe Mandroid wasn't as totally trash as we thought. Yeah, we should review that final battle, blow by blow. We were pinned down, under fire. Mandroid was making good on this threat to eliminate all Cybertronian lifeforms on Earth. His Emberstone-powered Death Tower was blitzing the area. Boom! Zap! Then we just clicked. It was like the power of the Emberstone ran through us. Making us think and act like one being. Terrans, united! Until finally, his plans and his tower came crashing down around him. Any chance he could have returned? <laughs> we got him good. Oh no! Improvise! Improvise! Right. Who's ready for a new challenge? A new day brings new challenges, Bumblebee. And there's nothing like breathing it with a good workout. Uh, not that I don't appreciate the effort, Alex, but I'm a highly trained Autobot trooper as it is. Humor me. It's rare I get to call the shots around here. Okay. What's first? Warm up. Combat moves a go-go. Follow me. If you say so. I'm surprising myself.
Okay. Now, when I say jump, you say how high? Sir, yes, sir. Training now. I place targets all around the farmyard. Let's see if you can bag the lot. That's what I call a victory. Any battle you walk away from is a victory in my book, Alex. But not least, speed trial. Once around the farm track in Diokomo. Fast as you can. Go, go! And now, you're ready for anything. Just in time. That's an alpha alert. We got trouble. Bumblebee, Alex, good. We tracked those arachnomechs that attacked you back to a decommissioned ghost base. I need you to investigate. We're on it, Optimus. Should we wait for Robbie and Mo to get back? They went out on an earlier call with Dot and Megatron. No. They're liable to be... tied up for a while. This can't wait. If Mandroid is back, we need to know. Did Optimus seem a little... abrupt to you? Not his usual cheery self. Maybe he's just got a lot on his mind. Let's roll! This is it, Bumblebee. The former Ghost Base Optimus Flagda. Appears deserted. But if those arachnomechs did come from here. Someone's coming. Alex, get behind me! Uh, only me. Optimus thought you might need backup after all. Hard to say, Nightshade, until we know what we're dealing with. The gang's all here! The other Terrans are helping me get this place fit for purpose again. Hey Twitch! Where'd you want this? Looks like junk hashtag, so junk it! Don't look so worried, Bumblebee! We'll get the core systems back online. Somehow. 
so you won't be flying blind. Good to hear, Thrash. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. What is it, Nightshade? You seem a little perplexed. I am. We've managed to access all areas of the base. Except one. It seems to have its own security system and power, and it's heavily shielded. The sensors can't get a read. Strange. I could reach out to Dot, see if she knows anything about it. No, don't bother her. I'll crack it eventually. Looks like a stored message. But who... What? Mandroid? But he's... Alive and kicking. Ah, it's good to be back. If you are hearing this, phase two of Operation Annihilate All Cybertronians has been initiated. Soon, my new robot army will rise, empowered by Cybertronian technology from the very depths of planet Earth. Now, nothing can stop me. But you are more than welcome to try. What did he mean? Depths of the Earth. At a guess, I'd say some kind of mining operation. But why give us the location? It makes no sense. Eagle, maybe? Question is, do we take the bait? <laughs> we don't, Alex. Once the Terrans have this place set up as a makeshift command post, I'll need you here to coordinate my efforts in the field. Hashtag, think you can get the ground bridge up and running for me? No problemo. Good, because I intend to take the fight to Mandroid. Whoa! Mandroid means business. Better report in. Optimus, it's much, much worse than we thought. There's deep level mining going on here. The whole canyon swarming with Mandroid's minions. We're analyzing the data from your sensor sweep as we speak, Bumblebee. Don't yet know for sure what Mandroid's digging for. I have my suspicions. I need you to shut this whole operation down, fast. Will do, but I'm just one bot up against who knows how many enemies. I'll need real-time tactical updates. 
And you'll have them. You're not alone, Bubblebee. I'll be with you every step of the way. Me too, Bee. Thanks to Nightshade, the ghost base is, well, semi-operational again. And I even have space archaeological backup that'll allow me to see below ground as well as above. I guess I'm going in. What's my first move? Target the outer enemy encampments dotted around the perimeter, Bumblebee. Each one that you liberate weakens Mandroid's overall control of the region, allowing you access to his inner strongholds. And you'll be able to harvest resources that will aid you in your quest. Then it's time to kick metal aft plate. Let's do this. Okay, wasn't expecting that. A road diner, way out in the middle of the middle of nowhere. Careful, B. That bland exterior could mask any number of mandroid machinations. True enough, Alex. Take nothing at face value. Maybe I should go check out what the lunch special is today. <laughs> Was a warm up? Better tuck that away for later use.
like a whole new bot. What do you need? Telemetry on androids made out of scrap bots. And for that, we need to put them through their paces. So, a race? I'm under starter's orders, Twitch. Ah, an Earth-based linguistic semantic reference. Oh, clearly I need a subroutine for that, too. Whatever. <laughs> Ready, set, go! They say you Terrans have yet to master sarcasm. Got a moment, Bumblebee? Nope. But I'm at your service anyway, Twitch. What's that? Humor? I really... What do you need? Telemetry on androids. So... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 